under the foggy skies of Halifax, Nova Scotia, and out of the Halifax Harbor might just emerge a creature that would instill fear into cavalry as they try to break away from the pack and claim their first regular season championship. A house of horrors at times it has been for the Cavs in Nova Scotia, and the Wanderers will be hoping that that remains true here today. Patrice Geyser with an exciting new formation as well. He calls them the Three Amigos. It's an incredible center back trio of Kale Lockery, Daniil Henry, and Dan Nimick, who will all play together for the first time in front of Jan Filion. Jesse Daly of Brisbane, Australia, suspended on yellow card accumulation, but they do get Bradley Camden back into the team, who is one of the three changes. Mile on Ray will try to deputize for the Aussie in midfield beside Charlie Trafford. And Ali Moosey returns after dealing with a bit of a knock. The flex out to Shaw, Mills Camargo in control. Moosey has kept himself on side. Still trying to get the cross in. Finally does so. Montgomery goes up front. And the first up is Smith Doyle. But the offside flag saves the day and denies the Cavs striker a goal. Yeah, he's offside. Smith Doyle just sneaks behind Daniil Henry. Trafford out positions Omar. Charlie Trafford a step over. Shot at Trafford, now he does. Just lifts it over the crossbar, but his best scoring chance of the match, his best scoring chance in quite some time. Yeah, he did well here with the press, so just nicks it. This is all Moosey as he tries to find a dart. It's a dangerous looking ball, but Nimick gets up to it first. stay in position. This is Henri. He's probably going to want to cut this to his right, and he does. Over top, yeah. and it's going to fall for him. Yeah. Cal Montgomery screams, not sure if he got a piece, but Henri is able to get it on his favorite right foot, put it in a dangerous spot, and it is Cavalry who strike first and draw the opening blood in this match. Cavalry FC goal. Scored in the 27th minute by number 18. Well, this Dale being credited Henry. to Henri for now, we'll take a look at the replay. It would be his first for Cavalry, should this stand. But regardless, Jim doesn't change the score. No. Look at it. I love this. Young player, give me the ball. Let me take him on. Free kick just inside the touchline. Moosey has been getting more and more accurate. Charlie Trafford gets the crossbar. Design play as he came short, no look redirection. Camargo influential in the turnover, gets it right back for Moosey. Camargo fires just wide. Had Fillion dancing about, was never sure of his footing. But that again, Jim, the press from Cavalry and Halifax are struggling with it. Yeah, look at me. Camargo here. Fernandez tenacious defending. Advantage being played as he fouls Fernandez. And Schlamarelli on the ball. Leading towards Kovacic, who spins it and brings it back up there in time. Dan Klopp with the heroics. Slick pitch, slick football, slick keepers, Jimmy. Just get anything on target right now. Yeah, you gotta give credit to Fernandez here, though. Putting pressure on Camden, frees up the ball. That comes out wide to Joe. What a delivery that is. Trafford turns around Omar. Great skill on the ball and a perfectly weighted pass for Ali Moussi. Moussi in behind the Camargo offside. Young Fillion to the rescue. Danger still present. Murray tries to clear it. It's Brad Camden. He tests Fillion, who has made the best save of his season. He gets that with his trailing foot, Jim. Now Smith Doyle collects the loose ball, and Moosey breaks for the gap down the left side. Smith Doyle didn't get an angle. Still driving forward, and Kara Smith Doyle nearly goes top bin. As the pass isn't on, I might as, might as well shoot this. Moosey puts it in, and it's a cutter from Dan Who makes the two goals to nil for the visitors? Nice tempo from Dan Nimmick to get this started. He's back in possession of the football. Farron, chests it down. Now he's going to shoot. Breaks and returns it. 
future is ready. His biggest test of the night thus far. Coimbra, a flick on. This is Perugs at left foot of attempts. Closer. Lots of travel, and it adds up when you're picking up knocks and trying to manage matches this stage of the season. Farron, plenty of time, plenty of options. Sprints trying to go through the gap, collides with Callum Montgomery, and the referee is awarded a penalty. You're not seeing a ton of arguing from Callum Montgomery, just shakes his head as he walks back. But Massimo Farron, just as this match needed a spark, Tiago Coimbra picked up the ball and stood at this spot, but Dan Nemec is a perfect two for two. He wears the captain's armband now as Mo Omar has gone off. He's been the most important player this season and can get them right back into this game. Against Carducci, and he scores! First time he's gone off from the spot in three takes. And he blasts it past the Cavs keeper. Game back on in the Maritimes. And of course, we are watching number two and blue. Farron pushing and shoving. Nimick scored, but the referee's going to bring this back. Dan Nimick just about had a brace in two minutes. And usually Rudolph is spotted a foul just before the ball arrived in the box. Touches Farron, barrels in, tries to go tight oh. angle on Carducci, back across the face of goal. Lockery steps on the ball, Ferrazzo comes to collect. Right. Into the box, Lockery gets a touch. He made the back post run. Glances off the side of his foot, he was never able to really test Carducci, but it's a great run from the center back. Halifax has to go. There's been drama at the death at the Wanderers' grounds already this season. Do they have hey, 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 Can they get it done? Cavs bench up in arms, pointing to their figurative watches. They're ready for full time. Caligari clips it in. Dan Klopp, another defensive header. And that is full time. Two wins and a draw on a three-match road trip for Tommy Wilden Jr. and company who continue to shush the opposition.